You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 459, recorded March 2024, posted July 2024. Strahd, go to your tomb. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. It's me, Tony Sindelar, uh, one of several Dungeon Masters here in rotation. Uh, <laughs> I use he, him pronouns, and today we are going to be continuing our dog and pony show, our Curse of Strahd adventure. Is this the end? It might not be the end, but it might be very, very close to the end. We don't know what's going to happen until we actually roll a dice and people make choices, because that's how things work here on Total Party Kill. We continue our combat. Allow me to introduce people in roughly combat order. Uh, first up. It's Aline Sims. Aline, who are you playing tonight? I play Emma Soliana, the Wood Elf Ranger, and also Androdite, her trusty Mastiff. And we all use she, her pronouns. Weighing in at initiative count 19, it's Dan Morin. <laughs> uh, I am playing Castanotar's Crucible, Warforged Cleric of the God Onatar. I use he, him pronouns. Crucible uses they, them pronouns. I am also in charge of Vasilka, the flesh golem that was made to be Strahd's bride, but has rebelled against him and is, oh, so angry right now. <laughs> also, also joining us, it's Erica Ensign. Hello, Erica Ensign, she, her, playing Brildish. She, her. Brildish is a dwarven paladin. Uh, usually she has a pony companion, uh, but pony was killed by bats. Well, dispelled by bats. He's he's hanging out at home. Inconvenienced by bats. Celestial Let's plane. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, also, also joining us, it's Micah Sargent. Hello, hello, hello. I am Micah Sargent, he, him, who plays Elevor Landman, the half-elf druid, he, him. I also play Samus, the saber-toothed tiger, she, her, and uh, occasionally Danu uh, makes an appearance, which is my fey mimic octopus that would prefer you did not use pronouns for Danu. And last, but certainly not least, I almost introduced you by your character name, but your true, honest government <laughs> name is Jane Rett. Welcome back, Jane. That's what it says on my passport. True, honest government name. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, and that's what it says. And then colon, Jane Rett playing Lena Dulina, the human rogue, um, and also um, the Vistani assassin, Aragal. All right, it is a big, giant fight. There's so many creatures and hazards and whatnot in the initiative order. It's almost too much for one Dungeon Master to bear, but I will do my best. Uh, the fight in the catacombs continues. We have literally gone from one side of the catacombs to another, uh, with Strahd marshalling all of his forces of darkness to throw at our intrepid heroes. There have been hellhounds. There have been bats. There have been vampire brides. There have been various un dead shadows and all kinds of forces. Uh, Strahd has basically been kind of chased and taken refuge in his uh, the only place of sa safety left for him in Castle Ravenloft, his own personal tomb. Will this be where you quickly dispatch him or will he be at his most dangerous here cornered? Um, or is it just really convenient that he died in a tomb? Very. Like, easy cleanup. <laughs> um, That's what I was thinking. Will Go to your tomb. Out. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Our adventures are kind of scattered across the catacombs, which makes uh, collaborating and uh, being effective in combat uh, challenging. Let's see how this works out for them. First up, it is Imra, followed by Micah's uh, forest woodland friends. <laughs> Imra, take it away. Okay, so I have a move question because yeah. I know that you can move di diagonally. Yep. However... How does that work when you're trying to go around corners? You can go diagonally around a corner. Let's okay. say. Okay. Okay. We believe in you. Emra's yeah. running. She's going into the tomb. She uh, is. Yeah, we have a question. We have that portal there, or that trap there. I went yes. around Broldish and Argo. Oh, sneaky. That's why I was uh, asking about diagonals. corners because there are a lot of diagonals. I have going around some this. bad news for you, though. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Can you, oh you just, back, just, back, just back that token up just a little bit? Just, just a, a little just, bit. Just a little bit. Just a, a scoosh. Mm. Like a square. 
two squares. <laughs> just a couple more. Just a couple more. Just, just a couple more. Just a few more squares. No, no reason. Also, point. is that portcullis uh, open or closed? I thought Vasilka was she's trying to holding open it. it. Vasilka Vasilka is is holding it up. Oh, she's bracing right. it open. Holding. Now she only rolled a fourteen, so basically she is working as a wedge. Um, and so it is not uh, fully open. Uh, she she would have needed to roll higher than that to like have it be like locked into place. Um, so do, do. so uh, oh, as no. you rush yeah. past uh, Aragal, um, you uh, the ground uh, beneath your feet, uh, Imra, kind of glows with blue light. You see some runes mm-hmm. activating, and you suddenly find yourself kind of hurtling not through time and space, but you know space. Um, and you are, I think probably this activates, I, I imagine you were ahead of, of Androdite, so I think it's just going to take, uh, you. Um. Okay. That's how we like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, mainly, I'm not going to throw a dog down a well. That's just Thank not. You, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dog is there you know. to tell someone that Imra fell down the well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, he's only teleporting the DPS yes. away from the situation. <laughs> Imra, you find yourself at the bottom of basically a pit. The, the pit is full of uh, basically skeletal remains, rusty weapons, a couple coffins, and like a dozen white undead warriors staring at you with red eyes. Uh, they kind of look at you. It clear they were moments ago very fixated on something above them uh, that had climbed out of the shaft. And you are there now, too. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I think that was your movement. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Um, well, Imra's probably, used probably to... Probably wasn't what you are planning. <laughs> Imra's used to not falling down wells necessarily, but, like, the mist has, um, made her more pliable. Not pliable, but... She can go with the flow a little bit better now. Um, Even when that flow goes down into a hole full of mm, undead. Sometimes that's the way rivers go. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, I'm just looking at my... I didn't think I'd need to know any of my spells because I knew what I was going to do today. Um, Mm. All right. So I think I'm going to use Tasha's Caustic Brew. Oh. Um, a stream of acid is going to emanate from me in a line 30 feet long and 5 feet wide um, in the direction I choose. And I'm just going to go for um, these uh, bowling pins through those three that are kind of okay. diagonal to me. Um, and they must succeed on a dex saving throw or be covered in acid for the spell's duration or until someone scrapes or washes the acid off of them. They're, they're, they're never going to do that. Uh, I right. rolled three 12s in a row. That's yep. very unlikely. I assume 12 was not enough. Uh-uh. All right. It was enough. No, it was enough. They, they were all dexterous enough. Um, oh, cool. So I'm just going to press myself against the wall as best I can. Okay. And I should have just moved again, but oh well. Okay. Uh, what does Androdite do, having seen uh, Imra be uh, warped away? Uh, I think she's right probably f- pretty freaked out by the portal. Um, mm-hmm. I think it would be reasonable for her to run back a couple of squares. Okay. To get away from that blue glowing thing. She come up by Broldish. That's unsettling to Brildish. Like, wait a minute, where's Imra? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see her on the corner. Do I hear, like, I haven't, I've climbed to the top, but I haven't, like, left the little alcove yet, so I probably hear her getting, like, zapped down where Is I there, was. Like, there's, like, yeah. a, there's, like, a TARDIS sound. I, yeah. Well, I think there's, there's also prob- just a... There's a As distinctive a sound. component to the spell too. Oh yeah, yeah. so that's. Imra I think there's also a, a disti- distinctive sound of uh, Imra, you know, landing in a pile of bones. Yeah, so. I know it well. Too well. Um, I think Micah, it's your turn. Yeah. I think your woodland pals are next. Yeah, they um, are currently locked in combat with hellhounds. I believe they are. Well, there's a hellhound that's praising one of them. Oh yes. yeah, that's true. Uh, so oh. the. <laughs> the nil bog is going to uh, look at the one that is not currently praising it 
and is going to say, what are they going to say? You call those flames? <laughs> I've had heartburn worse than that. And is going to cast Mocking Word, which is what just happened, a Mocking Word. Um, you need to succeed on a DC 12 wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom saving throw for the Hellhound. If you... How wise is this Hellhound? 17. Oh, that's pretty This wise. Hellhound has been, ar been around. Oh, I also forgot to mention something. Uh, mm -hmm. Nope, doesn't mm -hmm. count if you forgot to mention it. Argal, <laughs> there's a white in front of Argal where, where, where Immer was. Cool. Oh, Ooh. of course. Oh, that's, like a swapity that's, swap. That's how it worked with uh, mm -hmm. um, Lena. So there's... Yep, yep. Yep. He's got a well of white that just mm -hmm. randomly get plucked out when people trigger these traps. That yep. They should unionize, is what I'm saying. That's no way to be uh, treated. The undead are uh, famously, uh, they are not anti-labor. Really, <laughs> well, I mean, I think I don't think they're opposed to it. I just think that you know, they it's hard, Dan. They're just doing what they can to get by every day, and you know, it's they they. It, I think it's just they they've really been disenfranchised. Also, famously unbanked. They're just they've they're just, got a, there's a lot of opportunity for growth in the. What I hear you saying is community. they're resting on their white privilege. <laughs> I, re I regret entering into this you, line you of should. dialogue with you. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So Micah's turn is technically happening right now. <laughs> or the Nilbog's turn. Uh, yeah, so, so you... the, the Nilbog uh, missed and is fine with that. He's just going to stay uh, there. And then the Dryad will go for the same um hell hell hell. Hell. yeah so the one that's right next because the dryad's the bluish one yep. uh so shillelagh and then is going to attack and i'm trying to remember what that is it's a plus six so that is uh does a 10 hit uh 10 is not gonna hit a hellhound god what a terribly low roll um all right that's that's going to be I think, hold on, let me double check here. I don't have any other BAs. Well, I already did the BA. Never mind. Um, all right. Nope, that's all. All right. Next up, it is one of Strahd's lair actions. You love it. He, he Strahd, mm -hmm. he gets to do stuff all the time when it's not his turn. It's really mm -hmm. part of just being the best, you know? It's the, the overhead of uh, Strahd being Strahd. Uh, Strahd is going to kind of peek around the corner. He tries to sell it as if he's not, you know cornered in a, a little hole here but he's cornered in a little hole here uh and he is going to stare up the stairs uh at vasilka who is holding open the portcullis to his uh his final resting place and he is going to attempt uh to have a shadow of vasilka attack vasilka i need vasilka to make a dc 17 charisma saving throw charisma not her strong mm. suit. Mm. Uh, any bases saving throws? Nope. Okay. Let's roll. Let's roll well. Rolling well. Classic Dungeons and Dragons strategy. Did roll well. Uh, what was that DC again? 17. <sighs> All right. Amazingly, I rolled a 19, but Vasilka's oh. modifier is minus three. <laughs> So I needed oh. to roll a 20 oh. in order to serve. Oh. No. All right. Uh, ah, wait, but in... the golem has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. This is oh. a magical effect or a spell. Oh, yep. So Come on. All right. So roll a 20. Roll, roll a crit. crit. <laughs> roll the crit. <laughs> oh, it's next to the crit, but it rolled onto the two. Mother <laughs> covered. <laughs> no. Boo. Uh, all hates right. us. Uh, you know, here in the, uh, the you know, the, the fight can turn like a candle flickers. And as it's at first, perhaps uh, Elevor, Argal, or Crucible are nearby, you see Vasilka holding up the portcullis. And then there's kind of like a weird trick of the light. And suddenly her own shadow kind of like slides off the wall and takes form next to her. And uh, the shadow is gonna uh attempt to attack uh vasilka um let's see here let us do a uh a strength drain on vasilka 
Uh, I need that. I need my strength. <laughs> you need your strength. You're using it to hold up a portcullis. I've rolled a 12 to hit. Uh, I think I would hit a Vasilka that did not have a fancy armored wedding dress that you all made for her. Mm-hmm. Don't remember the AC on the wedding dress. Oh, I added it. That's right. I do. It's 13. So no. All yeah. right. Yeah. And I imagine, you know, um, it, like the, the shadow kind of strikes out and Vasilka just kind of like just is un, un, uh, un, un still shaken by it. Like holding that porculus up, going like mm-hmm. staring at that shadow with like pure vitriol. Yeah. Now, I will say uh, the shadow is somewhat blocking the doorway between Vasilka now, though. Let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, no, the shadow takes up space. The shadow has the ability to move through space uh, that are smaller, okay. but I think uh, your ability to move through it is not not so convenient. All right, that was Lair Action Crucible. You are uh, with your friends. There's a teleport okay. trap in front of you. There's a badly injured white standing on the teleport trap. There's now a shadow on the other side of the teleport trap. Uh, there's a portcullis being held open by a flesh golem. All right, you've, met, you've actually adventured together for quite a while. Uh, Can we get, are you going to recap the entire adventure? Oh God, so, here we go. when you first came to Barovia, ago, yeah. <laughs> several uh, years ago in ga- in player time, probably only like four days in game time, you arrived in Barovia. This is too depressing. Never and mind. Things uh, things are bad. There was a monk you were traveling with. No one could find him. Probably dead. Um, maybe fine. Who knows? Probably right. murdered uh, by vampires. A or question. Strahd's true identity. Maybe. <laughs> It was Carrick here the whole time. Oh, maybe, no. <laughs> maybe he arrived here hundreds of years before you, changed his name, got adopted by two weirdos, <laughs> and then and they had a brother, and he was jealous of that brother. And, and no, why are you letting me talk? I had a question, but you just decided to go off on your own. I don't know what's happening. Um, I how how many feet? Between me you and the feet. portal, yes. No, stop. You didn't take cold medicine. You're saying <laughs> the portal, the or the portcullis. The, no, no, the 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 teleportation thing. Can I back uh, up against? If I sort of back, I know each square is technically five. Can you but get if a I running like, start? Yes. yes. Okay. So yes. I can get a running start. I can jump over it because I can jump yeah. my strength score. If I move ten feet, my strength score is sixteen. So that's plenty. Um. Mm-hmm. Here's what I want to do. I want to crucible looks around, sees, you know, being we're being beset on every side, backs up, presses their their back against this, you know, crypt thing behind them, and then takes off. Once they have a running start, leap over it. Now, presumably, this would incur an attack of opportunity as I sure fly would. by the white. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a real fly by white operation. Okay, uh, sorry, it had to be done. Um, <laughs> land 16 feet away and then technically i can move through an ally's space right mm. could i mm-hmm. slide underneath the porculus through like vasilka's space i think so okay so make the opportunity attack i guess <laughs> the question is is there anything the white could do that would stop me from continuing that move and the answer I is mean, you can like paralyze me right do they have grapple <laughs> uh i mean if you died that would certainly do it uh, that's extremely think- unlikely yeah, and I'm going to assume probably the white can't do... Lo- let's see. Could I'm going to just do a longsword attack. I'll be fine. At All least right. if you I, land on the portal, a, you will show up <laughs> with Imra to protect yeah. your body. Yes. No, that's fine. <laughs> My right. AC is 23. There's no you way that was going to happen. Um, Did you move far enough past the sh- that the shadow would get an opportunity attack? No, because I haven't left the shadow's reach. Right. I will ask in a second if I need to, because let's see. I've technically moved 5, 10, 15, 20... That's my the extent of my move. Can okay. I see Strahd around the corner? Yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so and, yay. And he can see you. I'm fine with it. <laughs> so well, Crucible's taken this huge, like this leap, hit the ground, slid beneath the porculus. Just epic. takes the briefest moment to like, you know, send a prayer to Onatar. Eyes glow with radiant power, and I fire off. A guiding bolt at level two. Does this nice. do radiant damage? It He's does. If it does Yay. radiant damage, twenty-two to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. He's Strad von Zarovich. He's not like you know. He's just a guy. I don't even know. No, just, He's nine, just a little guy. Nineteen radiant damage. All right. Uh, I imagine that that like cooks the left side of his face, um, and he is. 
furious. You ever see someone who looks really, really mad at you because you just melted off half their face? That is Strahd. He is really <laughs> angry. Uh, that was his best if, side. If Crucible <laughs> were a more insouciant creature, he would have flipped him off right now. <laughs> but yeah. that is not, not their that style. Not, be... not their style. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, you did that. You know what's going to happen? Pull... Wait, do um, I? Okay. Is this still on my turn? No, yeah, you get, you get to the end of your turn until the shot kills you. Go. Um, I can't cast. Sure, I was just trying to figure out if I, I can't do healing word, though, because it's a bonus action, but it's also a spell. God, hmm. spell rules. Um, shoot. I was thinking I was going to try to heal Vasilka with my healing word, but that's, I guess. Can, can you heal Vasilka with a healing word? I thought we needed uh, yeah, lightning. Need to, uh, I don't remember what this is. Lightning will regain it. I don't have lightning. It doesn't say they can't be healed. Just that lightning will heal her. But I don't think, again, I can't, I don't think I can do that because I can only cast a um, cantrip. So I guess that is all I got. So do your worst, Tony. Well, don't do all your right. worst. Do your second of worst. Got it. Second worst. I'll start with second Third worst. Third worst? Uh, how, how far Strahd, did you go? Uh, you know, you're looking, Crucible, you're staring at Strahd. He's 15 feet away from you, kind of half uh, obscured by the, uh, um, the the corner at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, you blink, which is probably something Crucible doesn't need to do as much as you or I do. Uh, and Strahd is in your face. Uh, he's legendary action to instantly close with you. Argyle's turn. Um, Aragal is... Face to face with a white, and yeah. also knows that there is a teleport trap between him and, you know, yeah. <laughs> the party. Aragal <laughs> really wants to be up there helping, but I don't think, I don't think that is in the cards right now, so Aragal Also, is... last time Aragal tried to help up close to Strahd, Aragal ended up attacking us again, so... This is, this is so true, um, and with he that in mind... He is very dangerous and weak-willed, which makes him an excellent <laughs> pawn. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, His okay. middle name is Hench. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, uh, Argal is going to attempt to multi-attack the light. the terrible creature in front of him. All right. Uh, that's a fifteen to hit. That hits. Okay. Um, that will be um five damage yep. and does he doesn't get sneak attack because he doesn't have advantage i will tell you that unfortunately whites are immune to like many undead immune to poison damage i know our, yes uh, yes that is unfortunate uh okay and then a 24 to hit which hits and another five damage noted um and aragal is i think going to so is the sense that this is like a four by four? Yeah. Uh, okay. So there's um, basically the ground uh, in, in the area around a, leading to Strahd's tomb is uh, warded with teleport traps. Um, so so uh, several people have been able to jump over the other ones. That, yeah. And I would say at this point, like, it's very clear where the wards are on the ground that have activated. And Aragal is also going to scoot down in case any other melee people want to engage. Okay. Um, and that is his turn. All right. Uh, at the end of his turn, Strahd's going to take a legendary action. That's just the kind of guy he is. Uh, and for his legendary action, hey, there's somebody in front of him. Hey, it's a guy who uh, burned off half his face. Hey, it's Crucible. Crucible, uh, Strahd is just going to reach out. Uh, you know, it always. I feel like they, they, they should just give it a better name in the stat block. It's Unarmed Strike. But, you know, I mean, I think the deal is that, like, you know, Strahd's, Strahd's hands are weapons because they're vampire hands. <laughs> are they registered, uh, like, as lethal weapons? He, he makes all the laws. Who would they be registered with? That, that's... That, I that mean, probably no some sense. really complicated bureaucracy that he created no, in that order guy, to... No, that guy who's chained to the desk. 
He's in charge of all oh, the right, bureaucracy. Right. Yeah, that's true. Barovia is famously business friendly and <laughs> has some of the uh, the the most uh, uh, tax loopholes are very least, advantageous. Yeah, uh, strangely, no companies have choose, chosen to incorporate in Barovia <laughs> because of the miss situations. That's really but oh, they boy. continue to cut taxes but, in an attempt to, to incentivize Barovia new businesses. Barovia is calling. Uh, Albertans yeah. will love that joke. Oh, I, mm. I, oh my joke was going to be Barovia, a missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Alright, well, for that uh, <laughs> And my many other crimes Oh no, not the Erica <laughs> dice I should never have given you those dice I mean, I would have just used other dice I want to be clear, these are not the only dice They're just the dice I keep next to my computer um, I have rolled a 12 plus 9 is 21 To oh, hit yeah. a crucible nope. Sorry What? Oh, that's right 21 yeah. Because of the all your power of my no, and charms, and the whatnot. power of my faith in God uh, uh, shields me from mm. such unholy creatures. Mm. I want to note mm. that, like, so Crucible, if you may remember, is carrying a shield. That shield has been affixed with the holy symbol of Raven. That's kind. really inconvenient. So that is now That's interspersed right. between <laughs> Strahd and I. I imagine that Strahd is just slicing at you with his hands. His 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 fingers have taken on kind of dagger like appearance, and they're just coming up empty scratches on that that shield uh, with the uh, Raven kind thing. All right, Broldish, uh, what will you do? Okay, so uh, on there's two sides literally <laughs> on, of Broldish. On one side, to her her right, she just saw Crucible like take a running leap, which. I mean, Broldish was just like, that is epic. I need to do that too. But standing on the other side of Broldish is a dog. A sad a dog, dog. A sad that dog. That is usually with, with that dog's An unaccompanied uh, best pal. Dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I feel like Broldish at this point has grown enough that she's like, what the F happened to Imra? This is mm -hmm. more important than being epic in battle. I need to go find out. So, uh, in that Hela's is... name, let's stop in... and put up some posters. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that we before. Can... It didn't work. Yeah, have, it's yeah. usually not recommended in combat. <laughs> maybe, maybe Imra's with Karak here now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. Uh, she went to okay, a nice so farm upstate. May maybe uh, Karak here's <laughs> in that well. Did we check it out thoroughly? <laughs> There's a lot of bones down there. There's, oh. there's time. There's time to look. Uh, but not for Brildish, because Brildish is going to uh, lope past Androdite and uh, get to where Aragal is. And I think Brildish is, you know, she's not like the smartest cookie, um, but probably will figure out what happened because she recognizes the, uh, the the lights on the floor. Uh, and there's a white. So, hey, that's something to attack. That's uh, We're back on firm ground with Brildish here. Mm -hmm. uh, a known quantity. Yeah, except that rolling a 13 probably isn't uh, enough to hit. It is not quite enough to hit a white, if I remember correctly. And okay, I do. So, you're, you're, you're sure it's a 13, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. It would be a 14 if I wasn't using my own axe, my, my damaged axe, but okay. I am. Uh, but I get a second attack. So, okay, that's a 22 to hit. That, that so that's, that's much better. Uh, let's see. So that is five plus four is nine ten eleven slashing damage and it's magical That's, all right takes a big slice out of that uh white uh-huh and uh that is it for burlish because i don't have any um anything you don't get more than one attack i got i had to remember i missed the first one because i rolled that 13 <laughs> that that was how that works whoops yep, all that's right it. uh guess who's next up in the order everybody it's your favorite it's oh, Roman Zarevich. Oh. That guy on the oh, front Lord of the book. Everybody loves that guy. Um, what is he going to do? He is face to face with Crucible. Um, I think he could either repeatedly try to murder Crucible, but Crucible's shield is very powerful. Um, it's a shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't Crucible, why doesn't try to have better spells? You had Crucible years has to prepare great these spells. Strides. I don't know what your problem um, is. It's like not going to do some scrying. That's not going to help. Um, <laughs> I mean, that is a great spell at times. I think he uses that all the time to like spy on you guys. Yeah. Uh, but now it's his it's party, like, and he'll they're... scry if he wants to. Mm, mm. Dan, Dan, he uh, would scry fine too. Fine, tonight. To mm. I'm on something tonight. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time for this. Uh, Strahd <laughs> kind of stares. Say that? I think it's time <laughs> for this. <laughs> 
it pains me to do this. And he reaches. I don't think it does. Uh, I don't believe deep you. inside himself. And he casts Blight on Crucible. Ooh, that's, um, that's, that's some necrotic damage there. Yeah, that's going to be some necrotic, necrotic damage. So uh, I believe that do, 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 you need to make a constitution saving throw. The spell save DC for Strahd Von Zarovich is DC 18. That's Come high. on, constitution. My constitution is decent, but I'm still going to need to roll pretty well. Here we go. I rolled a 22. Woo! All right. Well, yeah. you, guess what? You still get to take half damage because, uh, you know, I, I and it was going to be because that's that's how spells work. Uh, you take 16 necrotic damage. Could have been worse if you had uh, not skidded. You would have taken 8d8 necrotic damage. 8d8. Uh, you know what? I love this is a, I think this is a actually a, a failure on uh, Strauss point. Uh, this spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. You know, uh, so we got him rattled. No damage. Um, he's, he he doesn't realize he doesn't come face to face with a lot of Warforge, probably. No, so. probably not. I mean, given that you're from literally like another realm of existence, he thinks you're wearing weird armor. <laughs> yeah, I think this he whole you're time, this armor. <laughs> Do he seems to pull one of those bit... Eowyn moments where it's like, I am no man. I can't but take he... my helmet off, though, because it's my you head. You can't take your head off. <laughs> the Crucible just lifts their own uh, head. It's a real hand of Vecna, head of Vecna situation. <laughs> um, all right. Well, you know what? He's going to follow that with a legendary action where he's just going to try and do the traditional attacking you with his horrible talons. Um and that is much lower than the number I rolled before that didn't hit you. So we're not going to talk about that. Uh, Strahd would regain a bunch of hit points on his turn, except uh, he took radiant damage. Yeah, and that's bad for him. Yes. Lots of it. Elevore, you are uh, not too far away, face to face with a white teleport yeah. trap at your feet. A situation many people have found themselves in recently. Elevore was sort of ignoring the white in front of him and watching the whole thing. And so he says, Ah, oh, Strahd, I think you should construct a better battle plan. Mm. And then he is going to um, uh, make Tony do work uh, because Elevore uh, immediately ends the spell that brought forth his little woodland friends and instead appearing um let's say here uh so to the left of strad and either right behind strad or you know beneath strad uh to the left as well are two giant vultures what and okay okay the now, now you expect me to put some vultures on the map? Is that what I you're do. expecting them to do? Yeah, that's so. Do the uh, do the the Nilbog and the Dryad disappear? Yeah, then? they so, go away. Okay. Bye. Um, so they have to come out of the initiative order, and uh, instead, the two giant vultures both have the same initiative, which I just As rolled. The Nilbog? Oh. Uh, no, they have. I had to re-roll initiative for these two new beings, um, and so they they have eighteen as their initiative. Do you guys ever think that uh, Micah just does stuff to make it like complicated for me? That's yes. exactly yes. what I'm doing. Yep. Yeah, and we love him for it. How big is it when you say giant vulture? It says um, large beast. A okay. large. So, I mean, <laughs> and why is it called large, giant? Not not huge. So uh, no, bigger but than large medium. is still four. <laughs> is large four? Yeah. 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 Medium's one. Uh -huh. <sighs> Okay, here's some large vultures coming up. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what initiative do these jerk large vultures have? 18. They both go on the same initiative. So, And I get to remove the nil logs? Yes. I laughed <laughs> and accidentally triggered Siri on my watch, and it says, ha, ha, ha. And then Siri said, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mainly, these, these vultures feel inconvenient. I don't come into your house and summon large vultures there. I, if I came into your house, Micah, I would ask. Can I summon an appropriately sized vulture? <laughs> but I'm from the Midwest. That's how I do things. You California people just putting. I am originally everywhere. from the Midwest, but no, you is from gave the, it up. The Eastern Hills or whatever I said early on. I don't remember. Yeah, he's right. from some hills very far away. Uh, do the vultures do anything other than annoy me? And I had to, And yes, those are technically eagles that I put on the map. Don't write me. Um, <laughs> so. 
<laughs> I've, All right, hold I've, on. Hold on. I'm going to tint the eagles to a more vultury color. Thank you. <laughs> I would say the vultures do that kind of creepy vulture thing that they do with their necks. That's And that's, they just kind of do it what, what at strong. Some of our listeners are vultures. Um, um, oh, I should say, you're right. That was the wrong word. Not creepy. Intimidating. The intimidating yeah, thing go. they do with their necks. I... I... <laughs> Sorry, I just I, I don't know why these come to me in my head. It's not my fault. I made this mainly way. giant summoning giant vultures inside. It's just it's like oh. opening an umbrella inside. It's unlucky. <laughs> my um. first thought was they need to play their walk on music, which is clearly Carrion, my wayward son. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like this. Okay. I didn't mm-hmm. do anything. We know. We know. No, I think, I mean, I think if you put a lot of work, you could be something different, but you know, we got, <laughs> that's, um, I'm also lazy is the problem. Yeah, that's, that is accurate. Um, yep. uh, Micah, do you want to do anything else on your turn that you are allowed to do in the game in the context of Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> yes, of course I do. Um, so I think, uh, so what's great I'm is so mad if these vultures kill <laughs> <laughs> We all will. Um uh, oh, do I want to do that? But that well, what that would be so funny. Like what an ignominious way for mm. him to go. Just taken out by Murdered carrying by vultures I love it. in a basement. I love it. I would just say yeah, my wife it. came home today. I mean, it would be kind of funny if Strahd dies while Imra and Lena mm-hmm. the, uh, who I think are the two uh, who are like uniquely vengeance driven mm-hmm. and like mean. <laughs> Yeah. Also, Ed are, are by, not on the same floor. <laughs> killed by carrion eaters. It's. Um, yeah, I was gonna say know. there's yeah. similar energy to like my wife came home and pointed out there were three turkeys in our backyard, <laughs> which kind oh. of feels a little similar. Are you saying that this oh, was yeah. foretold? Oh, yes. Yeah. As there's one foretold. more coming. Dan, full moon. Um, <laughs> where turkeys? <laughs> Work- oh no, that we be prefer terrible. the term workies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, we really don't. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's all Elevore is going to do for Thank now. Thank goodness. I almost did another thing, but I decided not to. Mm, it's, it's, sorry. Not, it's not necessary. <laughs> mm. That's that's what they say about this podcast. Uh, <laughs> and they were wrong. <laughs> Next up is my interminable oh, wait, 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 swarm I'm sorry. of... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's only mm. because I have uh, Samus go on my turn, That's and true. so Samus is just going to use Samus's movement to uh, catch up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 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 thirty. All right, all right. Scampers over to Elavor. Yeah. Uh, next up, everybody's favorite turn in the super long initiative order: the swarm of bats. Bats attack everybody, except people who are currently in a well full of whites, uh, mm. people who are in Strahd's tomb. Uh, mm-hmm. And we're going to say, I think the area right around Vasilka uh, got uh, hit by a fireball. Did, so that yeah. area is uh, bat free. free. Yeah, mm. bat free since very recently. <laughs> they flipped um, over the sign. Yeah. The, the bats did that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> They're self managing. It's bats. a living. Yep. Oh, Everybody shoot. else, please roll a bat attack on yourself. Bats are plus, plus four, four plus four to hit. They do five damage. Yes. Um, Roll this got hit. Us. This is my favorite uh, dealing with managing uh, things in Dungeons and Dragons. So I'm just like, yeah, just roll some dice. K- keep track of your hit points yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing big picture dungeon mastering over here. <laughs> I'm time for the day. I know you day. just. I know you just said how much damage, but we would five. Tell five. Me again? five. 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 Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, Lena Delina, you are at the top of a well. Uh, down below, you see Imra. You also see many whites that attempted to pepper you with arrows as you climbed out of this bit. Yep. Um, about how deep was the well again? I believe I said it was about 40 feet deep. That okay, right. so I used my 50-foot rope. <laughs> this is a perfectly nice. honest, legitimate use of rope in Dungeons and & Dragons, and I hate it when you do that. <laughs> uh-huh. is, there, is there any sort of, like, interior structure that she yeah. can tie the rope to? They, the, the, the construction of this pit where they've just been throwing corpses is very strange because they start in a basement and they're like, this is a crypt. Let's go inside this crypt and let's dig a 40 foot deep shaft. <laughs> and then I guess that shaft hit a natural like pocket. And then they're like, and now we're going to fill this. This is like just where we throw dead things. Yep. Uh, but yeah, in the, in the, uh, 
uh, crypt that you are in, I imagine there's, you know, there's some fancy stonework and whatnot. Uh, so there's something you could, something big, heavy, and made of rock that you could tie 10 feet of rope to, allowing 40 feet of rope to, uh, to go down into the pit, which would make it very easy to climb out of a pit with a rope. You, you did the free climb, um, so... Yeah, the that's, whites will not be capable of climbing because that's that's rogue culture. <laughs> yeah, rogue culture. Um, <laughs> yeah, you leave uh, a rope behind for the the next person. That's Take a rope, so leave true. A, leave a rope. Yeah, it's so Take true. Rope, leave, <laughs> leave only footprints and escape ropes. <laughs> yep. Um, Use every part. So of is there is there like a is there a door to get out? Of oh yeah. The uh, there okay. is the that's the door is on the south side of that crypt. Um, the doors to the crypt are just big kind of stone slabs. Uh -huh. They're not intended for. So you're gonna have to make a strength check to get out, but it's not very hard to get out of the uh, the slab. Um, Imra, <laughs> I dropped a rope. Uh, should should I stay and help you, or should I go try and figure out where we are? Go. go. Technically, go, go, that's also go. helping. Uh, Lena, if you want to try and push the stone slab, it's going to be a DC 15 strength check, which you may not be able to make on your first attempt. Oh boy. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but like at athletics? Yeah. For the strength. <laughs> that's a 14. All right. It budges, but you don't quite have it. If only you had some kind of ranger friend to help you. <laughs> well, but I also, I mean, is there anything I can do as a, as a, like, can I see any latches or No, it's literally like just a, it, you know, you've been basically kind of entombed here. There's just a big stone slab that you need to shove out of the way. Okay, well, Lena's so frustrated that she's going to take a shot at whatever white is most <laughs> obstructing um, All right. her. So that's going to be a... I like that Imra has cover from above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cover only a 14. 14 is the armor class of a white. Jane. Okay. <laughs> take it down. Uh, that's six damage, but if Imra is adjacent to them, I guess I get sneak Imra attack. Imra is adjacent uh -huh. to them. <laughs> yeah, okay, so so that's 17 damage total. Back who's going to expect bottom... that coming from yeah. up above? <laughs> 40 yeah. feet below where you are, uh, 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 Lena, Imra, you are staring face-to-face -face with the undead visage of a white. Its skin is all white, its hair is kind of long and stringy, it's just got two glowing red eyes and kind of pits on the side of its head and suddenly an arrow hits it in the side of the head and it falls backward into a pile of bones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad Lena said something when she <laughs> threw the rope oh, yeah, down otherwise she'd be just really like, freaked oh, out. Yeah, maybe you can kill whites by looking at them now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Broldish. That feels like a broldish. That is my turn. <laughs> All right. Hellhounds are next. Um, let's see. Uh... The three, there are three hellhounds. They were uh, kind of locked down by the Nilbog, but the Nilbog and Dryad are no longer there. Does One that of mean them that that is, charmed spell ends if the I would, creature yes, goes away? Yes, the charm spell ends if the creature yeah. goes away. Makes so I sense. think that that uh, that hellhound no longer needs to praise the, the Nilbog. Um, well, maybe he just wants to. Like maybe mm, it, maybe it got sold on it. I think the hellhounds are going to set off through the crypts looking for uh, interlopers. Tasty and treats. You know, yeah. Uh, At least we got pretty far away from them before. <laughs> one of them, uh, Lena, you suddenly hear scratching and growling on the other side of the stone slab. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and this one comes there. So the hellhounds split up. Two of them head south and are on the uh, periphery of the uh the fray with the uh the big group one of them is scratching at the door to the tomb alina is uh currently uh entombed in um all right this turn these rounds go on forever vasilka holding up a uh a, a portcullis now i think you know holding up a portcullis is a full-time job so <laughs> i am a little uncertain what vasilka could benefits? do that wouldn't I said it's a full-time job. I didn't say it was a good job. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> so there is a cop uh, game fact uh, here, so let's do America. this. <laughs> uh, whenever the golem starts its turn with 40 hit points or fewer, roll a D6. That's ranges? Ooh. Roll a D6. It was a five, which is good. 
if it rolled a six, then Vasilka goes berserk, which is also the name of a great album. Mm-hmm. Um, so at this point, she is still holding this up, but she's got that shadow in front of her. Can she do? What's the ruling here? Is that is that going to be ever? Is it take her entire action? Can she make an Full-time attempt job. to summon some strength and like lift the porticulus up to that the would point be an that? Action. Right, that's fine. But it's like, can she yeah. attempt to do that? Like lock yeah. it into place or something. And I will remind you the the DC for that is twenty five, which is very high. That is pretty can, high. Can uh, she do in fact, that? <laughs> so high, I can't roll it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in that case, I think Vasilka seeing sort of the state of affairs is probably going to just keep holding the porkles up because I think she feels like mm-hmm. that's the most valuable thing she can do to help mm-hmm. stop yeah. Strahd at this moment. I mean, also at this point, dropping it. I mean, right? Yeah, the, op- the alternatives are be bad. Fine. <laughs> yeah, but it's a little bit like, well, Crucible's You're on, on your own. own now. Crucible and yeah. two vultures. <laughs> two vultures, just the way they like it. And you know, I mean, maybe I mean, Vasilka hasn't been introduced to those vultures yet. It, you, there may be questions about which which team are the vultures on. <laughs> so that's true. Team. Yeah. All right. Uh, so is is uh, yeah, no, what is no, Vasilka no going to do? I guess just holding up. Holding up okay. the, uh, the porculus. All right. The whites are next. I have a bunch of whites. Uh, I think that uh, this one, I'm going to start with the uh, crypt level whites and go, then go to the well whites. Uh, this crypt white is going to attack Aragal. Um, I'm going to here. impose disadvantage. All right. That's with attacking twice with disadvantage. Uh, I can only do it once, so the first one has disadvantage. The second one oh, will be normal. okay. Uh, well, uh, I don't think I'm going to hit then. Uh, I think Argal's defenses are higher than twelve. Yes. Um, all right, Elavor. There is a badly, badly damaged white next to you that's going to make mm-hmm. two longsword attacks on you. Ooh, I yeah, twenty three is going to hit. So a five won't. No. All right. All right. Eight slashing damage. Down. All right. Done. This is where things start to get bad. The, like a horrible zombie movie, the whites converge upon Imra. Yeah. Welcome to the suburbs. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are going to do a bunch of um, longsword attacks on you. One, two, three, four. They're mostly bad. How are you doing? I rolled an 11, a 13, an 8, and a 22. I, the 22 is the only one that hits, fortunately. All right, you'll take 10 damage from that. There's more coming, though, because they have multi-attack, and there's a bunch of them. All right. Uh, the second 22 hits. The others do not. Wow, I rolled eight attacks and hit you twice. Mm, um, we love to see right. it. Mm, Lena's just take... peppering crossbow bolts down yeah. there. <laughs> so you have taken, I believe, a total of 20 damage from sword attacks. Uh, mm-hmm. And you are in a well full of the undead, so, you know... That there may be a moral victory there um, for me. I was going to say for who? Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Story my morals out. are complex and <laughs> my newsletter. Flexible. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, look, I just have questions. Um, <laughs> the vampire spawn are next. They continue to basically not have turns because they were themselves I, turned. I'm oh, they though, skewed. I've so lost skewed. track of where we are. In They're how... on eight. Okay, They're on eight. Thank you. Okay, it's getting closer. Possible. I got it. I, we Thank are you, tracking Erica. it uh, because this fight is the longest D and D fight. Not only I am I tracking run. it, I am tracking it in a verifiable way that you can go yes. back oh. and double check like me. It. Yeah, no, this is uh, mm-hmm. if there's one thing we're doing right, it's because of Erica. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's that, and it's only uh, yeah, it's nor- only one thing. <laughs> It's only one thing. Yeah, normally I would never bother tracking something that lasts like 10 rounds of combat because it's like we're not going to get to that. Oh, <sighs> you people. Um, all right. Um, this is your fault. You run away. Agreed. <laughs> I feel personally. Us bad people. Bad. Who people? All right. You well, people. Y- Micah, you're slowing us down. You know what? And that's not acceptable <laughs> because you know what we're doing right now? Speed round. Sure that's we right. are. Oh Just boy, like what we did, we go. but faster and <laughs> uh-huh. speed round. round. Speed round. Mm. Round one took us a solid 52-ish minutes. No, 48-ish, <laughs> something like that. Spe- speed round. Speed uh, round. All right, let's do Imra, it. Imra, you are in uh, in a well. There's a, mm-hmm. a a rope 
has gr- graciously draped itself down next to you. I imagine we can't do it perfect- as a speed round if you d- describe the situation for every character, Tony. Your interruption was longer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but multiply but, it by everybody's turn. I'm just saying. But I, but I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do I need to do to to climb up the wall using this rope? I think at the level that you're at, you do not uh you don't you 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 don't need to roll anything. A rope at okay. the level that you're at, a rope is, you know, nature's ladder. You, are you going to disengage you know. or are you going to take a bunch of attacks? That is your I mean, they one only question. hit twice, but <laughs> Yeah, I'll disengage, but I just wanted to to see yep. what um, yeah, so I'm I'm scurrying up that rope. I'm not in excellent shape, so I'm gonna <laughs> get the heck out. Um, and I guess that is my entire turn. That was what speedy. Is, what? Uh, where are you by the end of your turn in, ter- in terms of movement? Um, um so it's forty feet. And yeah, are we saying it's the it's same as my speed? walking speed to climb? Or I think it was half. Is that what we? I think climbing is generally half speed. Yeah. With the assistance of have... a rope? That I don't know. Yeah, I think it's half speed. I think you're, yeah. I if think it's just, just vertically. <laughs> we're, I think we're going to assume it's just easier for the, someone will write in eight months from now and tell me I was wrong. But, uh, we don't care. We're getting we're... out of this tomb. <laughs> so then I am like five feet below the lip of the. Okay. Do you want to move your token over to where Lena is? Um, sure. All right. Uh, next up. Strahd's lair action, where he can do fun things like mainly running away, uh, passing through walls. He did that sometimes, but you guys didn't really notice because he was using it to run away. Uh, sometimes he summoned ghosts of Ravenloft to attack people. That didn't work out great. Um, you know what? I think he is gonna uh, he's gonna look at Crucible and summon a shadow of Crucible next to Crucible. Um, to uh, attack Crucible. <laughs> Would you like to use so, the name Crucible a few more times in that sentence? Or? Yes, this is a Crucible in which you are being attacked by a shadow that looks like you. Okay. One attack on Crucible, one attack on Vasilka. Uh, uh, 10 and 12 are not going to hit nope. anybody. Wow, it'd be great if I rolled a like a double digit number. Why did Vasilka so. get a charisma, yeah, saving, charisma throw saving throw against throw that and Crucible didn't? Uh, uh, you can make a charisma saving throw to see if I successfully uh, summon <laughs> Death Shadow. <laughs> when we say speed round, we don't one. Now you're steps. slowing it down. <laughs> <laughs> it would True. be much faster if you just let me win. <laughs> Look at the ball. Where does it go? Over here. Over here. Uh, yeah, I roll, uh, I roll very poorly. So you're good. There we go. See, I knew Dan was going to do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Strahd knows that things are bad, so you know what he's going to do at the end of his lair action turn? Uh, do not he's do gonna, this. He's going to attack you. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, that's What nice. did you think he was going to do? I thought he was going to run, 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 run away. away. There's nowhere to go. He's flanking. He's I don't know. He can like, turn into vultures. mist or something. I'm not, not he, a robot. He, he can turn into mist, but he's not going to do that right now. Uh, he's that's what he gets I, for thinking you're I a robot don't, and not yeah. a construct. I just don't yeah. want to turn into mist right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm thinking I about it. Like I could. Uh, you know I what? could totally turn into mist. <laughs> he's going to attack one of these giant vultures. <laughs> I'd like to see him try. Well, I mean, well he it... rolled a 17 to attack a giant vulture. Well, giant vultures are very evasive. Um, how, how evasive but, are they when they're but they're on the not ground. invasive species so so don't even well these ones are they're not from here um <laughs> these are not basement vultures these are barovian vultures yeah that's they're not hit. barovian vultures 17's gonna hit all right you're gonna look me in the eyes and tell me that barovia doesn't have giant vultures <laughs> yeah barovia <laughs> they get no, big been, eating lots displaced. of bad things they've been displaced by the bat population <laughs> I guess it, it is a while since we've come up with something that they don't have in Barovia. The Barovian <laughs> ecology is surprisingly not diverse. It's basically bat and wolves is what uh, they've got. Yeah. They're, surprisingly, a lot of wolves. Have you noticed anything that the wolves eat? Are there fields full of sheep? No, there are they not. There are just wolves. There's some angry, goats. Angry, underfed wolves. They also, there's that subplot about the werewolves. We never found out what happened. Bats and wolves that. also makes a we great like, baseline we, for we a club. We made him promise bats, that he wasn't going to hurt people, and we released him. We made yep. an ally. Or he lied to us. 
and we're going to follow up after this possible. and we're going to find out. You know, lie yeah. is in the word ally. Mm. So true. Um, Ooh. Uh, Trust Micah, no one. Do, do you need to know what happens to this vulture? Um, yes, because that, that was a hit. Uh, well, you would take eight, uh, eight bludgeoning damage and 14 necrotic damage, which I'll conveniently uh, compartmentalize as 22 t- total damage of two types for you. That's rather annoying because it's just exactly the hit point. Wait, no. That is the average hit point. I'm going to choose instead to opt to uh, roll. Wait a minute. <laughs> Use some of these vultures a turn ago. I'm and going their hit to points were not relevant until now. Two. <laughs> Erica, so is this, this allowed? This is, this is yeah, called. This, this is just in time compiling. I mean, I never uh, signed off on a speed round to start with. I thought that was oh, a bad wow. idea. Nobody asked me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's annoyingly the exact same. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to. That was just for the first one. That's much better. Okay. Uh, okay. So, which one did he hit? He hit the the the, the right vulture. <laughs> okay. So, in the and I I did this from left to right. Um, mm-hmm. Left vulture has 22 hit points. The right vulture has more than 22 hit points. It Wouldn't you like anymore. to know how many? <laughs> It's uh, well, it's less well, than yes, whatever I just... You're right. You're right. So mm-hmm. I will mark that down. RV okay. has some amount. Is he a recreational vulture? <laughs> now it's a crooked vulture. Mm. Uh, and LV is doing okay. Well, All right. Um, Crucible. Hello. Um, Crucible has still got the shield interposed between mm-hmm. themselves and Strahd. On that shield, as I mentioned, is the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Um, which was, if you might remember, um, by legend, delivered to a paladin by a giant raven or an angel in the form of a giant raven. That's just Whoa. a fun fact. You think you think these vultures are here to like repo <laughs> yes. it? It's there's a cousin. They're cousins. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, they all I'm know each other, use, Dan. That's what you're saying. All the giant an birds. Action to expend five charges of five. this. Five. Five charges. Two, three, four, five. That's almost all the charges. Um. While presenting the holy symbol to make it shed bright light in a 30-foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. That's so the, the whole sunlight. Like there's just like beams of light. I think to think it like emanates in like a raven-like shape, like mm. that flies Ooh. forth, bringing a tide of sunlight that spills. So 30 feet of bright light. Um, where? I'm gonna make a little <laughs> let's like make a little aura there. Thirty feet. Pretty big. Mm-hmm. Uh that's sunlight. Uh, and lasts for wow. ten minutes or until I end the effect. So Strahd is in my face and is now bl- like just doused in sunlight. Yeah. Um which presumably will Yes, I just, you should I just all check. See- Everyone can uh, see that. It's mainly a big deal. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. At the end of his turn. Yep. That's great. Okay. Um, I don't know, Tony, what Tony needs to do to make everybody see that, but I've made it. I can. I can. Um, and then for a bonus action, who? How are people doing on healing? I can see Vasilka. I can see Elavor. Elavor's okay. I'm doing terribly, but I'm very I can't far away. See you. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm down. You could probably see me, but I I don't know. I don't can you know. heal my You're bird? Around the corner from me. <laughs> Do not well, heal I'm, his bird. Can you heal my bird? <laughs> Do not heal his bird. Can you heal well, I would my like to, bird? <laughs> Do I not wanna, heal his bird. <laughs> I need a real. I need a a a ruling on whether or not I can heal Vasilka with healing word. Uh, I don't know how we've determined that because she is like an undead construct. I'm gonna say, yeah, let's let's say that you can. Okay, because I'd like to prevent her from possibly going berserk. That seems important. Yeah, what if you guys uh, you kill Strahd and then Basilka kills all of you because she's really angry? Uh, there's an not, irony to not, it. Not not gonna sound <laughs> as good when the bards sing about it. Um, all right. Well, that's a meager five hit points, but Vasilka all right, it's will something. Take right? It. It's enough to get. It's enough to get her back over mm-hmm. the threshold for now. 
All right. Uh, Good. That is my turn. Speed round. All right. Speed round at the end of your turn. <laughs> Strata attacks a goddamn bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elevor does, uh, or sorry, your name is it's technically Micah. Micah technically. Uh, does an 11 hit a bird? My driver's uh, license says Elevor. My passport says Micah. It's very confusing. <laughs> That's, um, you're going to get a letter from the government about that. I lived through that. Um, the vultures have low AC because I haven't had a chance to get some armor for them. So, yes, that does hit because my they've bird. Existed, they've existed for four seconds. You haven't gone to the armor shop with the birds. Exactly. Get the special giant vulture armor. Um, 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 right. You've uh, almost certainly killed that bird if you're you attacking that same one. Um, okay, yeah, he 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 murders that bird and tries to drink some of its blood. It's gone. Uh, Aragal. Okay, Aragal multi attacks the white. First one is a seven, does not hit. Second one is a twenty-two, which yep. does hit. Um, so that is going to be. Nine damage, and because Braldish is here... Hello. Um, that's also sneak attack. That's an additional 14 damage. That white is very badly hurt, but still alive. Mm -hmm. Clinging to unlife. Yeah, that's my All turn. Alright, Braldish. Uh, is it me, or is it uh, the vulture actually, first? Actually, uh, at the end of your turn... The uh, or before at the end of Argyle's turn, okay. shots can attack the other vulture. No, yep. Uh, hey, I rolled a very high number in the 20s, and guess what? Uh. 22 damage to that vulture. Hey, Micah, how many hit points does that vulture have? <laughs> I don't know. One, two, Sorry, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> if you're taking, of, if uh, you are attacks. taking stride out, he is taking these two vultures with him. <laughs> he died, it's okay. as, he it's... died as he lived, murdering giant vultures in his basement. I just <laughs> love that you freed Elevor's concentration up. This is great. Oh, yeah, great. All right. Yep. Brother, you can what'll continue appear your next. turn. <laughs> uh, I have a, a white to, to, to stomp here. So that's a 21 mm -hmm. to hit. Yep. And that is, let's see, that's. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen slashing damage. That's also the magical. white collapses to the ground, returned to the death it needs. All right. Uh then I'm going to uh back up. <laughs> yep. And take a running leap. Let's hang on a second. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. No, I'm not. Uh, because I, I don't have enough movement to be able to back up and then also run and jump that far. So screw it. Well, this is just gonna try a standing jump. I can jump nine feet without problems so what do you want me to roll to see if i can get across this 10 foot uh, uh or... athletics sure i will give that a shot uh 17 is that enough to seems like to make good. that one extra foot yeah <laughs> all right so that is five ten um and I guess I will just uh, be right here and uh, All right, next menace. to Vasilka in the- Yeah, I'm going to the... menace a shadow. There's some shadows nearby. Mm -hmm. um, all right. That's it. Uh, I think that uh, at the end of your turn, Strahd is going to take a legendary action. And- uh, He's already done three this turn. How many- how, No, this, this is round, his third how many did one, he get? I believe. He gets three. And he's, using, yeah, but he's, he, he's, he's not leaving any in the bank. <laughs> he's attacked. He attacked three times to vultures. The first time he did oh, 22 he damage and killed right. one. The second time he killed the right Ooh. one. And then he. Uh, yes. This is what happens when you curse, have Erica. Curse track. you, Erica. Yeah. <laughs> curse of Erica uh, is our next right. campaign that we're paying. Yeah, well, true. he'll just have news, to act on his own turn. <laughs> the bad news is it's his turn. It is his turn. Uh, yep. He starts his turn in. He, he starts his turn in direct sunlight. And uh, I don't know if you all know this. You do know this because you read a whole book about vampire weakness. Uh, while in vampire sunlight, vampire weekend, Tony. Mm, <laughs> yeah, Crucible was off listening to an album while everyone else was carefully <laughs> reading the book. Um, while in sunlight, Strahd takes twenty radiant damage at the start of his turn, and he would have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks if he wow. did not burn, burn, burn. And takes the form of mist. Oh, mm. bugger. <sighs> mist that is cooking in the sunlight as it creeps south 
and like kind of rolls up and through the cracks of his coffin in the center of oh, his no. Oh. Huh. Elevor. <laughs> Anyone remember what that means? <laughs> <laughs> um, Elevor is just going to try to take out this white in front of him. Uh, 24 I know hits. Um, and 10 acid damage. That white, white is gone. I'm just going to move some of these uh, many undead vultures and <laughs> zombies and undead things <laughs> off the map. Uh, as the the battlefield is emptying out, and then Elevor will jump over mm-hmm. and land here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think he will. Oh, and then um, Samus will move over, and then also jump over. I guess. Thomas can, should be able to jump no problem. Yeah, can she I don't do... know if there's a place for Samus to land. Yeah, that's a good question. Actually, this is a relevant question for then, Tony. How do those shadows feel about okay, being in here. total sunlight? Let's oh, see. that's a good question. Um, oh, she can get to here. And I think... They have disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. There might be another trap over there. Oh, you might not yes. want to have her go that far. Oh, there. shoot. You're probably right. Okay, so where was she here? Uh, no, she was originally here. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know what she's going to she do. She might need to chill out there for a minute until we clear yeah, some room. Yeah, I think she'll at least step here, just so she can see everything. Could attack and then, the hellhound. We still got that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There is a hellhound there. So if she comes from here and she goes running like that, oh, yeah. um, then she can use her pounce move. So that is a... 15 is what you need to hit a hellhound. Okay. Ah. Oh, 14. So close. Does the hellhound feel bad about being in sunlight, just in general? No. They're from okay. hell, Dan. It's very It's not bright sunny. There. Well, there's several different levels of it. Some of them are hot. Some of them are <laughs> One of them, San Diego? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why San Diego? It's very sunny. There are a couple layers okay. of hell that are Florida. Um, <laughs> oh. All right. That's all Elevore. Maybe it's Alberta. Elevore and Samus mm-hmm. are doing. Oh, yeah, there's... I mean, there are both... Uh, uh, yes. I've, the I'm ready to send over to hell. There are cold and <laughs> hot true. hells. Uh, there is no ratless hell, though. That is all hell. I mean, Alberta is not naturally. There will ratless. be if the UCP gets its way. Yeah, I mean, wah, the, wah, they, wah. they it took a great deal of human uh, work sacrifice? to make it ratless. Yeah, oh. <laughs> human sacrifice. Yeah. God, who do they sacrifice humans to? <laughs> well, <The> rats. It's, <laughs> it, it's it's a cost. Uh, swarms of bats attack. I think Ugh. only. Samus, Androdite, and Aragal are in bat, t- bat country. Oh, yay. Um, All right. And nice. Lena, uh, you are having your own slightly different side adventure. Uh, you see Imra climbing up the rope at you. You hear some kind of animal uh, on the other side of the stone slab scratching at the uh, the door uh, to where you've been entombed. Um, yeah. Does a 14 get the door open? Uh, a 14. Sorry, sorry does... a 17. Um, a 17... Let me remind myself what the number you said. I 15. Said. There we go. Uh, the Yay. door s- s- kind of, it's just a big stone rectangle that's been put there. It falls forward and then kind of off of the hellhound. Uh, Lena, roll me a, a 2d6 stone slab falling on hellhound damage. Uh, okay. You don't have a macro for that handy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's a, the title picks up most of the page. Five door damage. All right. The stone slab. Uh, uh, basically slaps a hellhound in the face who's very angry, uh, growling at you. Um, Lena is going to <laughs> take off at a sprint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to have the hellhound bite no, at you as no, you go. No, no, no. Lena's actually going to disengage. Um, so I will... Um, yep, I'll disengage and then I will just move my speed. Um, and then I will, eh, no, Imra's here too. I will, I'll just stab him. Um, that's a 13 to hit. A 13 does not pierce the natural armor of a hellhound. They're from a rough neighborhood. (laughs) Uh, well, that's my turn. All right, um... 
Well, this hellhound is going to snap at you, Lena. I rolled a 12, which does not seem very impressive. Nope. Um, this hellhound over here is going to snap at uh, Samus. Mm-hmm. I rolled a, another 12. That um, hits. All right. Uh, Samus will take. Uh, eight piercing and six fire damage. Ooh. Don't get bitten by owl hound. Okay, and you know what? We're going to continue this uh, animal fight animal action here as a hellhound no! uh, uh, romps over and attacks Androdite, uh, who has been besieged by bats this whole fight. Oh, yeah. This is not good. Uh, 15, oh, no. which will deliver Did... 13 damage to Androdite. It will not because <gasps> Androdite's EC is 16. Yeah! What? Yeah! Armor dog. All right, that's the Hellhounds of uh, Vasilka. Vasilka is holding still up holding up this portal, but is, does not have to roll for being berserk. Uh, I don't know, could you like kick the shadow? I don't really. <laughs> I, 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 I think do? no. I think you are busy okay. holding the thing open. Speed round. Uh, Vasilka yeah. looks at, at Crucible, and although she cannot speak, right? She can't speak. Uh, her eyes say, finish him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Vampire spawn turned undead for one final turn. Oh my God. Let's, let's got to kill this goddamn vampire. Uh, Imra. Mm hmm. Okay. So I got about halfway up the first yep. time. I, I misspoke when I said five. So I'm going to get the rest of the way up. And I am going to cast Cure Wounds on myself because I'm not in great shape. And right. that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know what? John's not going to take a lever action this turn. I wonder why. Crucible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. um, can you refresh my memory from the Vampire Weekend album I listened to? Um, <laughs> do we know? When he goes back into your, like, how do I end him? <laughs> I, I think need that to stake you know him? you need to stake him. Okay. Crucible will walk forward, just ignoring, looks at the shadow, just goes, you have no power over me. And then just walks <laughs> away from And indeed him. the shadow does, because it has disadvantage because of the sunlight. Um, so you walk away from your own shadow. Oh, <laughs> it's metaphorical. That's epic. Uh, that is very epic. As Crucible walks... I don't remember if I have a stake, but here's what's going to happen. I take my. You do. Brilish made a bunch and gave yeah, everybody you all at least had three. Stakes. Dan, you did not go to Ravenloft without a stake. I, I was going for a dramatic moment here where okay. I took my. One, one of you, one of you left spear. your stake back in the No, at the I, took my, I take my spear and I snap <laughs> it over my knee. <laughs> okay. And then nice. I. Special I stake. Walk up to the coffin. The lid is, is firmly atop the, co the, 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 the coffin. It's a big, fancy, uh, kind of uh, black wooden coffin with some kind of gold inlay around it. I don't need to know about the coffin. <laughs> I don't want Speed to discover round. how much he <laughs> spent round. on the coffin. Speed round. Uh, how hard, like, I mean, how hard is it for me to either push the lid off it or just stab a broken spear all the way through it? <laughs> Do you want to just stab a spear into the coffin and walk away as if this Don't is like a magic, no, I want a to magic take the damn lid off. Probably the is, we hit the vampire. Are you going to make me leave. do a separate action to take the lid off and then stab him? That's the you question. Can, you, can, you can take the lid off as a free action. I thank shove. You, thank you for just ruining this dramatic moment. I was trying to get dramatic. I shove the lid off and I it see. Clatters to the floor. What's Strahd, in the coffin? Has t has he he is badly badly wounded. He, it's 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 like he is both dying and sleeping. The mists have have returned him to his uh his physical form, uh, but he does not seem he seems oblivious uh, to your presence uh, because he is you know on death's door. He's he's lying in the coffin. His head is on a beautiful red velvet uh, pillow. His arms Cupcake. are crossed on his chest. Um, makes you know. Sleeping like a baby, but like yeah. a good baby that sleeps all the time, not like your baby dad. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Uh, well, Crucible is glowing with the sunlight of the holy symbol of Ravenkind and Prude. pointing it at Strahd to illuminate him in his his uh, uh, coffin here. He holds up his jagged, the jagged wooden end of his spear, looks down at Strahd and says, this is for Barovia, and then plunges the spear into his heart. 
Do I need to roll? Uh, you do not need to roll because he is incapacitated at this point, having been reduced to a single hit point by the sunlight from your uh, for, for your symbol of Raven Guide. Strahd has done what he could. Perhaps it was not the most courageous of fight, but perhaps Strahd is not the most courageous of villains. And as you plunge the spear into his heart, there's kind of just like a gasp uh, from Strahd. It, it's it's just a kind of sound like air passing. Uh, and his eyes briefly flicker open uh, before he disintegrates. Wow. There's Yay. almost just crucible for a second there. He almost looked like he was like at peace. And then. No. No. Care. No more. <laughs> the shadows uh, that uh, were around Vasilka disappear. Uh, the, the whites uh, down in the well suddenly just kind of like, you know, hunker down, take a, take a, take a, take a little nap. They're not dead. Well, they are dead, but they're not re-dead. They just, they just, they don't seem to have any fight in them. And the, uh, the hellhounds, though, still there, still, you know, hounds from hellhounding. Hell. They just, they don't, they don't look like they're interested in fighting anymore. Hmm. Wow. And that is where we will end. Wow. And that is where we will end tonight's session. The penultimate episode of Curse of Strahd from the Dog and Pony Show. They finally did it. What's in store for Barovia? How will things shake out as they attempt to rebuild this once beautiful land? Uh, we'll find out next time. Comparable Podcast Network. Become a member and support this show today. TheIncomparable.com slash members. <laughs>